As questions linger over exactly what happened in Cleveland County, we do have insight into what went down in Seminole, Payne, and Haskell counties. Fox 25's Tom Ferguson joins us here in studio with a breakdown of what we've learned in those cases. So, Tom, did any of these three situations share any one thing in common? Well, I mean, Wendy, documents from the state auditor and inspector's office show internal measures or controls could have prevented these issues before they even started. As recently as February, a state audit into the Seminole County Sheriff's Office found about $187,000 in misappropriated funds. According to the auditor's report, office manager Megan Burgess collected that money from December 2016 to November 2022. It was avoidable. It didn't have to be this way. Taxpayers' trust did not have to get uh, taken advantage of. The audit also revealed issues with the Seminole County Deputy Fund, a nonprofit the county sheriff's office manages. Records show almost $89,000 of the almost 96,000 total the fund collected had no paper trail showing how the money was spent. Whenever an elected official starts a foundation on the side, sometimes the, the lines get blurred and that's what happened here. And it appears that the sheriff and the under sheriff and another deputy did take advantage of some of these funds. That brings us to January when another state audit reported that Linda Farley, an administrative assistant at the Payne County Sheriff's Office, was responsible for almost 138,000 in misappropriated or questionable expenditures from 2010 to 2021. The administrative assistant used the sheriff's office's credit cards and either submitted altered or fabricated invoices for payment. And she was using those things to buy personal items. She literally purchased a kitchen sink for her house. Then there was the May 2022 audit revolving around Haskell County Sheriff's Office Administrative Assistant and Financial Deputy Monica Ellison. From July 2016 to August 2019, the state auditor says she found that Ellison misappropriated 56 cash bond transactions totaling more than $25,000. And we'll have the links for each of these audits in full posted on our website. That's OKCFox.com. Reporting live, Tom Ferguson, back to you.